to wear one? Of course. How do I look? Like yeah. a model. Nico had especially asked me to order 10 for him. 10? For 10. Him. But I'm gonna go give him one. <laughs> How much does it cost to order one? It's 19 euros. It's 19 euros only. Get it now, now, now on our shop. That's only, I know that there's only 60 left. So first, I didn't really know what to expect of like how the, how things would work, you know? Every team is different and how they deal with boot camps and scrims is different. So this team, uh, I didn't expect it to be this intense. I thought the process was very intense, like a lot of practice, not really many like off days where you just uh, play, you know? Most days are we just practice, we play, we talk about replays and usually the day is just over. There's not really a lot of time to do anything else. Uh, but I thought it was good. I uh, kind of got used to it now in the end, that we just kind of just play all the time. We're not just playing six to eight hours a day. You're 24 seven with the game because after you finish playing, you go to bed thinking about what needs to happen in a better way. So this is not just playing six, eight hours a day. This is a lifestyle. You live with this, you sleep with this, you wake up with this. This is 24 seven job. It's not just six, eight hours a day like most people think. And everything else is just like 1% of the time that you can actually go out and relax for an hour or two. We're basically devoting every single second of our life to this game. Whether it's constantly playing, watching other teams play, watching our own replays, doing all these things. It's not just about clicking the buttons, playing yourself. It's also about making sure that you can do this in the long run. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Uh, that's how I see it. So, you know going out to have a dinner with your team once a week or doing an air tunnel or going to the spa, whatever needs to be done, you know, people are different, but you need to make sure that people are happy uh, and they get a break from the game. So this is in some ways investing into the sport also. What are we up to? I'm going to the city to buy some stuff and eat. Eat what? We don't know yet. Something not healthy. <laughs> Yeah, so last week we played a lot of games, we practiced a lot and we had uh, one day off. We went to the city to buy some stuff, some Swedish stuff, some Swedish candy. I want to bring that home to my family, show them something new. Show us yours. Those Swedish horse apparently. Horse. Nobody knows what it means though, but looks Swedish. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Somebody please leave a comment below. Some sweets, please tell us the story of the Swedish horse. But, uh, it's that thing called the thing that protects the neck from the cold. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Something you just put on the neck. It's not like a scarf. It's more like a neck thing. Nice. There's some real cozy ones here. You're not gonna get a furry one like a pin, like a big papa. I feel like the, the big one is way too much. You need to join the fur gang. We're uh, all in the fur gang. That one looks like too much. <laughs> Adam, is there such thing as too much? It's a bit too much. much. <laughs> I would do it. What time is it now? 3.20. Does <laughs> it look like 3.20 here? It feels like 19. It's 19 p.m. right now for me. The way I see it. Time to sleep. Yep. Time to, time to, time to scrim. No, nope. time to go home, take a shower and go to sleep. Yeah. When it's 3 p.m., it feels really weird. Like, I cannot get used. We, we went out, we had uh, dinner on the day off. I think I had butter chicken. Say hi to your dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> Miss you. Hi, Louis' dad. <laughs> Hello, Louis' dad. <laughs> your dad is actually Louis' love. No, my dad is not. Uh, my dad is Santos. Oh, it's Santos. My mom is Louis. What, your mom's name is Lelis? Your middle name. Okay, very cool. You had the middle name for your mom and your last name for your dad. Oh, really? That's yeah. why it worked. Whoa. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Where did you fall down? I fell down at the air tunnel. No! Yeah. <laughs> then I fell down later at the HQ when we were playing ping pong too. <laughs> I mean, looking at the past month, if you take week one, we're definitely like a much, much better and more composed team than week one compared to now week four or five. So there is definitely a big progress and we're gonna look forward to showing in the upcoming days. And for us, the most important thing is to just learn and progress because the season is long. 
and it's all about TI pretty much so. So the morale going into cool guys was normal. There was nothing different. We knew what we're good with, we knew what we want to do. So everything was just normal pretty much. And we know we can't really expect to come in, make a straight new team and beat everyone in the first week of practice. That's just unrealistic. So everything was just pretty calm and normal. Game one of this best of three series between cool guys and Elias coming your way here. The very last second. Interesting. They go for Life Sealer. I mean, it's magic immunity, right? I mean, it's just the last pick, and then I see that we have a Queen of Pain mid, which means we can't really pick a range core. We have two range supports. This was the freest Life Sealer game ever, and we, they only had like one link. Plus, we have BKB peers, so this link did not really scare me. I knew that I, I don't care about the link if this is the only thing that's going to stop Nyx this game. It's not going to be a problem. And they'll tap out after that one. A failed Roshan fight there from Cool Guys leaves them with no chance of getting back into this game against Elias. GG is called Alliance. They came in and, and they take this one cleanly. A clean game from Alliance. It's, it's, good. it's, it's a nice showing, I think. Yeah. A glimmer of light, I guess, for Alliance at least, that they can win a game from start to end. Of course, it's nice to play pretty solid and stuff, but there's still stuff in the games we can improve and stuff that uh, can like generally carry over to um, you know, most games. So there's like a definitely room for improvement and it's something pretty, I uh, can't really speak about it, but it's something that we can get like a lot better at in the games. Not the biggest fan of this. In the game two draft, they picked Queen of Pain. Uh, it was pretty obvious at that point that there was going to be a safe line Queen of Pain. I think they had already shown Lena. I mean, she's gonna uh, so we were like, okay, this is Queen of Pain's safe lane. It was not really like a, it was not hard to understand for us, like where it was going to be. But it was more so hard to understand, like, why. We didn't really say, like, well, what's the plan with this? Because they drafted it into a Legion Commander, which in our like in our minds was a great matchup for us. Uh, so they used their counterpick to basically counterpick themselves. We couldn't really understand it. Although we understand that Queen of Pain is a really, really strong hero by now. And we've seen it getting, gaining popularity both in the mid lane, but also in the safe lane nowadays. My hero is a safe hero. So I was playing behind my team. Uh, a lot of people might say like, oh, you're a core, you have to go in front of the support, you know? And then Snapfire was just walking in for us, Treant also walking in. But I knew that my purpose was to be the combo breaker in the fight, you know? They would, Mars would start with Arena, and I would just uh, save the guy that got arena and we would probably turn the fight around. So then I saved the Snap and got a duel on the big core, that was Lina. And then we just won the fight here. Alliance, they get the kills. They know that it's going to be a 3v5. They know. Okay. You blinked in! Yeah, I'm holding it the I don't have duel. Perfect. He no. jumps in, Cataclysm's out, Thug's gone, no buyback on him either. The overgrowth into the close range kisses. Alliance will clean him up. The GG, it'll be cool. Did you? As Alliance will take game two. The series, you guys? it's theirs. Yeah. First win, progress. Boom. Oh. <laughs> you Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for watching the games. We won. This time we've been sucking for a few weeks, but things are starting to slowly come back to life. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for not blaming us, and thank you for keep believing in us, and we're gonna try our best in the next week. It was definitely good getting a clean win and an official. We have, this is our first serious win as a team, so that definitely helps a lot. Um, even though the competition is not like the highest, it's definitely good to know that you can just pummel an opponent like that a little bit, uh, if you know what I'm saying. It's uh, um, part of being like a very consistent team and a structured team is being able to consistently beat the lower tier competition. And uh, if you can't do that, then you're also going to struggle against the top tier team. So that was a good feeling for sure. I feel like right now we have a lot of trust in each other. We believe that we are sort of on the path to greatness and it's a matter of time at this point. After the win, we just just looking for the next game. Like, keep working and look forward to the next game. I agree, but that's shit happens, right? I think you guys should be fucking confident. Like, don't be discouraged by this game. We're gonna fucking destroy them. Make sure we can match them, and that's all. Simple as that. That's okay, uh, do a little hug. Hug it up. Hug it up. Alright, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then you're gonna scream alliance. And then you're gonna go play. Yeah, I love some cringe moments because. Let's make it closer, alright? One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go.
And we are having a Division One series in the Western European DPC League. It is none other than Alliance taking on Team Tickles. I'm gonna jump, sir. Ready. Uh, I need to make a flank. I'm flanking. Timber. I'll get him exposed. BKB wasted. I'm going for Timber soon. You make me wanna I'm going Timber. I found him behind. I'm gripped, I'm gripped. Okay. We're fighting Timber here. Timber is dying, guys. Round, 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 round. Kill this, kill this. Timber didn't die. Fair enough. Come on, come on, come on, it's dying. Defense one, defense one. Trying. I mean, you always gonna get some negative emotions when you lose games, of course, but for me it's more about what rules you create for yourself and what plans and what emergency exit you have when this actually happens. Unfortunately, we lost our series against Team Tickles. Hopefully we can get back on the track and keep improving and uh, win the rest of our games in DPC. When we lose, I feel it's we are more, more motivated to work harder, even. In the start, for us, to be completely honest, it was a bit of a struggle trying to align all of these uh, perspectives and philosophies. But I think right now we're starting to start sort of understand people are buying into my and Nico's vision of how to run a team, also how the way we want to play Dota. I'm pretty happy with the progress of the team and how People have been talking to each other and, and stuff. Think very, team is very mature, and people see stuff very professionally. So I'm, it's something I value a lot. So I, I'm pretty happy with that for sure. Uh, I, I would say in the beginning it was very confusing for a lot of people, especially for, really for me, because uh, we probably had uh, Nico and Hanskin had a certain way they played on the old team and they also wanted to implement this on this team, like uh, certain aspects, you know? And we didn't really do a lot of the things they had with the old team. It might be a little bit frustrating, you know, for everybody. Of course, it, it, it's the same thing for me and my old team, you know, I wanted certain things to be done, but it's very new, so you have to be patient with it and uh, just uh, trust the process. Happy with the performance as far? For sure not. We lost a lot of games, but I'm happy with the progress that we're making. And like I said, this is a long marathon, it's not just one sprint. And yeah, just keep working. Things have been a slightly different than what I imagined. Um, in the way of everyone being here, we're, we have discovered a lot about ourselves, which has been great success. You know, you can't really... I, I would not like to say that, you know, it's a super success because obviously results matter. It's, it's a performance-based sport. Uh, but in terms of like, how much I've learned about the players, how much I learned about myself, being a captain, uh, con connecting myself with the org, all of these things, I feel that right now I'm in a much better you know, place. I understand what needs to be done from me and how I need to push my team in the right direction. Uh, so in that sense, I feel like I've learned a lot about the team uh, and it's only gonna help uh, me moving forward. Looking from start of the bootcamp, I didn't know what to expect because it's uh, this is my first bootcamp ever. So I didn't know what to expect, but I'm happy how it went. Everything was fine. We are improving a lot, and that's the most important part. So I think it's good. So for the holiday break, I'm gonna um, just chill a bit. Uh, try not to think too much about Dota. Try to. Uh, maybe hang out a bit and towards the end play again, play pubs, get back to form and be ready for the next uh, the next games. I mean, we've been here for four weeks by now, so of course I'm looking forward to spending some time in the nature, in the woods, mostly just 
uh, making my brain relax a little, like off time, offline, off monitors. And then after that, I'm sure I'll be ready to go and, and go into the games again. So I'm definitely excited for both, both my break and both me coming back after that. I'll definitely use my time wise. I'm very excited to come back uh, after the break and play again. I'm really looking forward to that. And thank you guys, everyone, for watching the vlogs. Uh, thank you guys for watching all the vlogs and all of our games in 2021. As you know, with this new roster, uh, with every new roster, there is uh, results cannot be expected from the start. Uh, I hope you guys will have some patience with us. Every team that has ever been built was not great from the start. We hope to give you a really, really exciting 2022 and uh, hope you stay tuned to watch Alliance there because uh, we'll definitely be working hard every day to make it happen.